G'day, Jim Hardwell here from Fishing World magazine. I'd just like to run you through the new Fishing World project boat. This is a Bar Crusher 620C, powered by a 175 E-Tech engine. See here that the dash is pretty loaded. Got the uh, big Simrad NSE 8 inch uh, dual sounder plotter, uh, GME VHF radio, one of the cool new Fusion uh, radios iPod uh, docks. You uh, stick your iPod in there, and you can pop out some pretty good tunes. I've got the stress-free anchor winch here, the gauges for the E-Tech, twin I-Command gauges, and a 27 meg under here, switch panel here, 12 volt socket here, and the controls for my uh, Electra tab, uh, trim tabs just here. Everything's nice, uh, nice and within reach. Um, I don't think I could fit anything else on this dash. Bar crushers feature this nifty um, folding roof. So when the weather gets a bit, a bit rough, you can pull the roof down, and it uh, protects you from the worst of the uh, worst of the elements. This boat's got uh, Relax outriggers on it, which I'm looking forward to using on the Yellowfin and Marlin in the coming season. You can see here in the cabin, it's a nice roomy cabin. Uh, it's fine for uh, kids. Plenty of gear storage up there, side pockets, underfloor storage, uh, quite comfortable seats. These seat boxes feature. Um, uh, little tackle boxes in them as well, which I'm going to fill up with all my terminal tackle, you know, hooks and sinkers and swivels and live bait rigs and that sort of stuff. Got my uh, GME EPIRB just there with an easy grasp. Plenty of deck area in this boat. Got a pen Fathom Master downrigger there. Got the bait table, got a plumb live bait tank. Got a rear folding seat, a uh, rear door there with a, a ladder. Got a deck wash for uh, washing any blood and, and guts and so forth off. Six pack rocket launcher up here, twin Hello uh, floodlights, which are really good when you're squid fishing or dewy fishing at night. Got LED strip lights on the side. It's a pretty, pretty, uh, pretty neat package, actually. I'm really, uh, really pleased with it. It's only the fourth time out that I've had it so far, and I'm still getting to know the boat and a uh, solid performer so far. I've had it out in a couple of uh, decent swells and been fishing in it and so on. But stay tuned to Fishing World and the website. I'm sure there's going to be plenty more for you to see.